Now let's summarize what we studied for today. The main organ for photosynthesis is the leaf. Now although other green parts of the plant can also undergo photosynthesis, but this is the main organ that is responsible for that. Now when you take the external structure of the leaf, we have the lamina, which is the surface of the leaf. The leaf margin, which is when you move along the edge of the leaf. For the margins, we can have a smooth margin, a rough margin. Some are very sharp too. We can talk of the midrib, which looks like the backbone of the leaf. We can talk about the veins, network of veins that are also responsible for transport. And the leaf is connected to the stem by the leaf stalk or the PTO. When you cut across the leaf and then you examine the cut part under the microscope, that means you are viewing the transverse section of the leaf. Now the parts you are going to see are one cuticle. It is a waterproof layer that contains wax. Next to the cuticle is the upper epidermis. Its main role is to secrete the wax. We have the palisade and spongy mesophyll cells. These have chloroplasts. The palisade mesophyll cells have lots of chloroplasts. They are the main region for photosynthesis. The spongy mesophyll layer has air spaces over there that are responsible for gaseous exchange. The spongy mesophyll cells also contain chloroplasts. Therefore, photosynthesis can also take place over there. The lower epidermis contains small pores called stomata. Now, with the lower epidermis, it is not as tightly packed as the upper epidermis. It contains small pores called the stomata. Now, this is where gaseous exchange takes place. When the stomata is open, carbon dioxide will enter, oxygen will come out. But the opening and closing of the stomata is controlled by guard cells.